Welcome back to Westwood Engineering. Today, let's spend about a minute learning how to save your part as a .stl file so we can slice it in our next introductory lesson. Let's get rolling. Here I've got my completed part. You'll notice I applied some colors. Doesn't really matter for the .stl file. A .stl file is for stereolithography, and what that does is puts it into a format that a 3D print slicing software can understand. What I want to do is simply come up here and click on File save as and on my options right here I want to give it a meaningful name and I'm gonna call this my cup and first I save it as a SOLIDWORKS part next I want to save it as the .stl file save as except this time I click the drop down and I'll scroll all the way down here until I can find .stl down at the bottom of my screen right here where my cursor is flashing there's more below it. It's about three-fourths of the way down. You don't really have to change the options for our 3D printers. You can just go ahead and accept it. Leave the same name as Cup STL. There you go. I've just made my STL. I'll see a bunch of triangles appear. That's all there is to it. You'll submit that STL file for your 3D print. Thanks for watching.